Welcome to Cosmo's 28 day ab challenge. All it takes is five minutes, five days a week. Each week we'll up the intensity with even more challenging moves to keep your muscles getting. Now that you've mastered week two, you ready for week three? So we're gonna start off down in our plank position again, guys. Elbows under shoulders, draw back through your heels, and you're gonna start with hip dips. Take one hip down to the mat, twist on your feet so you're coming to the blade of your foot, of the direction you're twisting in. Stop at the top, readjust your feet, bring it back up. This is a great one for all of those core stabilizing muscles, as well as your obliques. Make sure you're keeping that net long. Make sure you're drawing your navel in towards your spine. Again, if you need to take a break, you can just hold here in the plank and then start twisting again when you've caught your breath. You're doing great. Keep pushing, keep breathing. All right, just five more seconds, you can do this. And that's it. We're gonna roll over onto our backs and we're gonna start in an isolated crunch. So just lowering your legs, making sure that your low back stays flat and you're just going to pulse your hands here. Draw your navel in, don't let your abs relax at any point during this exercise. If this is too hard, you can lift your legs a little bit higher and that'll give you some relief on the lower abdominals. If you want more of a challenge, start to lower your legs down. Keep breathing, keep pushing. Make sure you're not straining your neck, so just allow your head to relax back. Again, you can also take your hand behind your head to support the neck. Just make sure you alternate. Good, this is your last little push, 20 seconds. Don't give up, you can do it. I'm feeling it. I'm sure you're feeling it too. Almost there. All right, last little bit. Last five, four, three, two, one. Moving right on, coming up into a squat position, feet hip width distance, weight in your heels, chest lifted. You're just gonna take a side bend down, tap the ground next to your foot. Finding your obliques, really try and keep your chest lifted. Keep drawing your navel in towards your spine. Just holding a squat alone really helps turn your abs. And then when you're adding this little side bend, you're getting those obliques too. Sculpting from all different directions. This is not an easy move. You're doing a great job. If you need to take a break, pause in your squat. Catch your breath and keep going. Really work for it. Push through the bend and you'll get stronger. You might be feeling it in your tush too. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Back down to the ground for reverse crunches with straight legs. Starting off with your legs nice and straight, shoulders pressed down into the mat, lower down with control. If this is too much on your neck, you can lower your head down and let it rest. But by adding that lift, you're keeping those upper abdominals engaged as well. Take your time. It's all about control. Don't worry about how low you get. The more you do this, the stronger you'll get and you'll see that your legs will be able to go lower. Exhale as your legs lower down. Pulling your belly button in. Keep lifting your chest from your heart rather than pushing your chin forward. You wanna keep your chin nice and tucked so that your neck is relaxed. Stay with it, you're almost there. Last little push. Nice, now roll it over, coming back to that plank position. We're gonna do cross body mountain climbers. You can do it slowly and controlled like this, or if you wanna get your heart rate up and add a little push, add the hop. You can always alternate. Listen to your body. Every day we're different. So if you need to take it back down, do. Catch your breath and then pick it back up again. It's one minute. If you set your mind to it, you can do it. You're doing great. Try to keep your chest 
relax. Your collarbones spread, your hips down nice and low. Woo! Feeling this one. Last 10 seconds. And you're almost there. Don't quit now. Last three, two, one. Woo! Awesome job, you guys. Make sure you complete this workout five times a week to see maximum results. Keep your elbows nice and wide here. Keep looking up. 